Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Super here and welcome back to a brand new video. Now today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the best working macro inside of Girl Garden, which is going to make the game a million times easier. Now before I end up showing you guys how you can end up getting this macro, I do have a really quick announcement. Our iHeart Fanboys hats have finally ended up launching. Now if you guys do want to end up copying the iHeart Fanboys hats, all you have to do is go over to our community, then end up going over to the store, and as you guys can see, the hat is going to be right here. It's one of the best hats inside of the entire game, and it just really expresses yourself. But yeah, besides that, let's end up getting into this video of how we can end up getting this macro all right guys now the first thing you're going to want to end up doing is heading over to this website called autohockey.com now i'm gonna have the link in the description or you can end up typing it into your web browser but basically if you are familiar with any macro you would know this is the most important thing to get the macro running pretty much what you're going to want to do is end up heading over to this website and you're going to want to click on the green download button right here as you guys can see now once you don't know clicking on it it's going to ask you for two versions the 2.0 version and the 1.1 version because of this specific macro we're only going to need the 1.0 version do not download the 2.0 version otherwise it's not going to work just download the 1.1 version go ahead and download this right quick and then you can end up moving on to the next part all right guys now once you do end up getting auto hockey installed what you're going to want to end up doing is clicking the macro link inside of the description which is going to end up taking you over to this reconcise website now what you're going to want to end up doing is completing the reconcise and once you do end up completing it you're just going to want to hit the unlock button which is going to end up automatically downloading the file to your stuff as you guys can see we have the girl garden macro right here now pretty much what we're going to end up doing is unzipping the folder all right so what we're going to want to end up doing is going over to our downloads and you're going to end up dragging the folder we just ended up downloading to our browser so as you guys can see we ended up dragging it it's already right here so as you guys can see this is what it's going to end up looking like now what we're going to want to end up doing is going next to it and creating a brand new folder just a regular folder as you guys can see new folder 15 now all you're going to want to do is you're going to want to drag this one in here the zip folder and you're going to want to end up opening it right here now what we're going to end up doing is right clicking it and going down to winrar or whatever you end up extracting your files with just simply extracting here now what this is going to end up doing is creating an additional folder which is going to be the unzipped version now as you guys can see it's unzipped and we're ready to go now from here all you're going to want to end up doing is just loading back into grow garden so that's what we're going to end up doing right here all right guys now at this point you should have ended up installing auto hockey in the back row you can end up loading back into grow garden now what we're going to have to do is end up adjusting a couple of settings so what you're going to want to do is the first and most important thing is you're going to unfull screen your game so just go ahead and hit f11 and that's going to end up unfull screening your game the next thing you're going to want to end up doing is going over to your settings and scrolling all the way down until you see UI navigation toggle now what you're going to want to do is you're going to make sure this is turned on it's very important that it's turned on if it's turned off the whole macro will not end up working so go ahead and turn it on now last but not least what you're going to want to end up doing is going over to your folders and you're going to want to go over to where you end up installing that macro way and can end up double clicking on it and as you guys can see there's going to be the main ahk now all you're going to want to end up doing is just double clicking that and the macro is going to end up uh, appearing on your screen just like this as you guys can end up seeing now we can end up setting up this macro all right guys so once you end up launching the macro is going to end up looking like this and basically what we're going to end up wanting to do is we're going to end up hitting continue on our stuff now there's going to be a whole lot of settings but i'm going to end up carefully explaining what everything is going to end up doing so yeah let's just go ahead and do this now the first thing is going to end up being the seeds pretty much what this is going to end up doing is auto basically automatically buying any seed you want so what you're going to want to end up doing is selecting the seeds that you want the macro to end up automatically buying and this is going to work overnight or whenever however long you're going to end up running the macro so for an example if i want the macro to end up buying like the cacao seed and the beanstalk seed i would end up selecting that so for me personally i would just end up selecting like a bunch of good seeds i'd skip over seeds i don't want like maybe the coconut seed i don't want it to buy i don't want it to waste my money on that but yeah i would just end up selecting all of these seeds because i do have enough money to end up getting all of the seeds so if you want to just end up selecting the seeds select all seeds but basically this is going to automatically buy the seeds next up is going to be the gears and it's kind of going to work the same way what you're going to want to end up doing is you're going to want to select all the gears you want it to end up buying personally i wouldn't recommend selecting every gear for this one because some of them are really expensive like the harvest tool that's literally 30 million like every single cycle so you're probably not going to want to end up selecting that so personally i would just end up skipping over the harvest tool and the favorite tool but i would definitely get like the master sprinkler the lightning rod the sprinkler all the sprinklers recall wrenches and maybe some watering cans as well very important recall wrench especially that one is really important because you have to end up having that so the uh so it can end up going over and automatically buying your gears but yeah just go ahead and select all the cheap ones don't really select the harvest tool the favorite tool unless you just want to burn money or something or things like things of that nature next up is going to be the eggs and what this is going to end up doing is automatically buying the egg so for an example if i only want my stuff to buy bug eggs it's going to end up uh s selecting that and it's going to automatically only buy the bug eggs when it's on stock so i'm going to go ahead and get the bug egg maybe the mythical and legendary one but i'm not going to want it, my inventory to be cluttered with common uncommon and rare eggs so these are the only ones we're going to end up selecting for now because they have some decent pets 
Next up is going to be the Twilight event. What this is going to end up doing is going over to the Twilight shop, which is like the new exclusive shop that ends up spawning. But yeah, pretty much what we're going to want to end up doing is once this is here, once it's in your game, what you're going to want to end up doing is going over to it and selecting what you want it to end up buying. So for me personally, I would want it to buy the Moon Mango because it's probably one of the best fruits in the game. But it is a billion, so I wouldn't. I would see why you probably wouldn't want it to uh, end up buying that. Next up, there's other stuff like the Star Caller. I do like that. I would want it to buy that as well, and I would want it to buy the Night Eggs and Sea Packs. I don't. I'm not really in a rush to get the twilight crate and i don't think the moon cat is the best uh animal in the game and the celeste berry is kind of trash i'm not gonna lie to you but yeah i'm just gonna have it get the moon mango the star collar and the night tea packs and stuff now next up is going to be the cosmetics and pretty much the only one is going to be like buying all cosmetics what this is going to end up doing is buying every single cosmetic in there so if i can end up going over to the cosmetic shop i'll show you all what this is going to end up doing it's pretty much just going to end up buying all of these cosmetics personally i wouldn't recommend you end up having this on because as you guys can see some of these cosmetics are really expensive like this tractor is 556 million personally i wouldn't recommend you end up turning this on but you can if you want to i mean it's not my thing it's up to you next up is going to be the settings and this is going to be probably one of the most important ones what you're going to want to end up doing is you're going to want to end up turning on auto align and fast mode fast mode if you have a good computer auto online you know that one just turned on by default but if you have a good computer that can run over 60 fps make sure you turn that on because it's going to make this whole process a lot easier and then over here is going to be the webhook in the discord id what this is going to end up doing is sending you like basically everything this macro is going to end up buying so if it ends up going over and going over to the gear shop and buying something here as you guys can see i'm gonna go ahead and show y'all right quick if it ends up buying like a godly sprinkler it'll go to your discord and ping you and show you exactly what you ended up buying i don't really know how web hooks web hooks end up working so i'm not going to end up uh touching that but yeah Next up is going to be the donate. So if you guys do want to end up donating to the creator, you can end up doing that whole bunch of stuff. You can end up donating right there. And the credits, this just end up giving credits to the creator and the guys who ended up helping uh, make it. But yeah, what you're going to want to end up doing is going over to your settings. And you're going to want to go ahead and go over here. And as you guys can see, you can end up starting the macro with F5 and stopping the macro with F7. So what we're going to end up doing is we're just going to end up going over to seeds. And we're going to go ahead and start the macro with F5. Okay, so yeah, as you guys can see, what this is going to end up doing is automatically adjusting our stuff like this. And yeah, as you guys can see, gonna end up adjusting our camera and stuff and it's gonna end up buying the stuff so let's just go ahead and see how this is gonna end up working like just like this boom 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 and it's gonna pretty much end up buying everything i ended up selecting it for so i did end up selecting it for everything pretty much so it's gonna end up buying all the seeds and you can end up leaving this on overnight and you know just having to buy everything so yeah it's gonna end up checking to see if the seeds and stuff are in stock as you guys can't see uh none, nothing is really in stock right now no mythical or legendary seeds so yeah it's not going to end up buying none of those but it's going to end up just running a quick check and the reason it's going so fast is because i have the fast mode on so yeah it will never buy nothing with robux don't worry about that only money so yeah and that last but not least is going to be the beanstalk and there's nothing else in stock so it's going to end up going over to the gear shop now and it's going to end up buying all of the stuff in the gear shop so as you guys can see it's going to end up buying everything i had it uh select so the watering can the trials and stuff it's going to end up buying all that and yeah as you guys can see boom is going to end up checking um the godly sprinkler it did tweak up a little bit on them trials but yeah, as you guys can see i do not have the uh, favorite tools or nothing else selected and yeah it's going to end up going over and seeing if there's any eggs in stock that i end up wanting and yeah i mean it's really self-explanatory how this is going to end up working it's going to end up buying everything constantly and as you guys can see it's going to end up staying waiting for next cycle so i'm just going to go ahead and hit f7 and end up ending the macro and yeah you can end up having this running overnight it's one of the best inside of the entire game and it's very simple to end up using but yeah guys that's going to end up ending off the video i hope you guys did end up enjoying shout out virage by the iheart fanboys hat and yeah it's your boys over here and i'm out peace